Jungles are mysterious and enchanting places, full of life and wonder. But they can also be dark and dangerous, hiding secrets and dangers that we can't even imagine. From mysterious stone balls in Costa Rica to a strange-looking turtle that looks like something from a nightmare, here are 20 creepiest jungle discoveries ever. Number 20. The Maracoxi. Every region in the world has its own set of myths and legends, and South America is no exception. One of the most famous mythical creatures from South America is the Maracoxi. These creatures are said to be gigantic, ape-like creatures that can reach heights of up to 12 feet. They are also said to be very aggressive towards humans and have been known to attack people who come too close to their territory. One of the most famous stories of a Maracoxi encounter comes from British explorer Colonel Percival Fawcett. In 1914, Fawcett was mapping out the jungles of South America when he and his crew came across a group of Maracoxi. Fawcett described them as being incredibly hairy and armed with bows and arrows. He also said that they couldn't talk, but only grunted. Fawcett and his crew managed to scare away the Maracoxi by firing their guns into the ground, but the encounter left them shaken. Number 19. The Tarzan of Vietnam Jungle Tarzan is famous for living in the jungle and swinging from trees, but there is a real-life scenario of a man who lived in the jungle for over several decades. In 1972, during the Vietnam War, Ho Van Thanh's wife and two other children were killed by a U.S. bomb. In response, Thanh fled deep into the Vietnamese jungle with his two-year-old son, Ho Van Long. For the next 41 years, Thanh and Lang called the forest home. They built tree houses to live in, wore loincloths made from tree bark, and survived by eating the food they could find and grow. In 2013, Thanh and Lang's isolation came to an end when a group of villagers stumbled upon them while gathering firewood. Thanh's health had deteriorated, so the villagers helped him and Lang return to civilization. The two slowly began to adjust to life in the modern world. However, it was a difficult adjustment for both of them. In 2017, Thanh passed away due to old age. Eight years after their return to civilization, Lang also passed away at the age of 52 after suffering from liver cancer. Number 18. Masters of Camouflage Have you ever seen a bird that looks like a tree stump? If not, then you have never met the Potu, a quirky creature with big, googly yellow eyes and an unforgettable name. These masters of disguise are found in Central and South America, as well as some Caribbean islands. Potus are nocturnal birds, meaning they're most active at night. During the day, they perch perfectly still on the tips of dead branches or tree stumps, with their heads held upright and their eyes closed. Their tree-like feathers and small folds on their upper eyelids that can sense movement even when their eyes are closed help them to blend in perfectly with their surroundings, making them practically invisible. When night falls, potus come alive. With their big eyes and large mouths, they're experts at swooping down from their perches to catch flying insects. These skilled nighttime hunters are a vital part of the ecosystem, helping to control insect populations. Number 17. Airplanes from the past. The Incas, an ancient people who lived in South America, left behind a fascinating legacy. Archaeologists have discovered truly curious and amazing things at their old sites, including little golden figurines that look like tiny airplanes. These figurines, dubbed ancient aeroplanes, are about 1,200 to 1,500 years old. They have features that oddly resemble wings, tails for stability, and landing gear, like what you'd find on an airplane. And the thing is, in the animal kingdom, no creature matches these figurines. Some scientists believe that the figurines were used as jewelry, perhaps as nose or ear decorations, but others wonder if they could have been more than that. Could the Incas have known about airplanes before they were invented? 
Could they have been inspired by extraterrestrial beings? In 1994, a couple of German aeronautical engineers built larger radio-controlled models of these Inca artifacts that could actually fly. This added fuel to the fire of speculation, with some people suggesting that the Incas may have had some kind of advanced aeronautical technology. Number 16. Zombie Ants Imagine a world where ants are turned into zombies by a parasitic fungus. This isn't science fiction. It's happening right now in the Amazon rainforest. A parasitic fungus called Ophiocordyceps unilateralis infects carpenter ants and takes over their minds, forcing them to do things that benefit the fungus, even if it means their own death. The fungus starts by releasing spores into the air. When an ant breathes in a spore, it becomes infected. The fungus then grows inside the ant's body and releases chemicals that control the ant's mind. The infected ant begins to behave strangely. It may wander off from its colony, climb to a high point in the forest, and bite down on a leaf stem. The ant then dies, and the fungus grows out of its head, releasing more spores. Scientists aren't exactly sure how the fungus controls the ants, but they do know that it releases special chemicals into their bodies. These chemicals may interfere with the ant's nervous system, causing them to behave in unusual ways. Number 15. The Stone Balls of Costa Rica Costa Rica is a stunning country famous for its beautiful beaches, lush rainforests, and incredible wildlife. However, it holds some intriguing mysteries like the Bolas de Piedra, which are nearly perfect spherical stone balls. The credit for the unearthing of Bolas de Piedra goes to a U.S. company which was on the quest for a spot to grow bananas in the 1930s, deep within the jungles of Costa Rica. Crafted from granodiorite, these enigmatic stones have sparked much curiosity as their true purpose remains a mystery. Theories abound, ranging from speculations of gravestones, symbols of status, compass markers, and astrological tools, to even extraterrestrial connections. What we do have some insight into is their age. They are believed to have been fashioned between 200 BC and 1500 AD, most likely, by an ancient indigenous culture. These stones were carefully carved using smaller granodiorite pieces and perhaps smoothed with sand or leather. Scattered throughout the region, there are approximately 300 of these intriguing artifacts, each holding a piece of the puzzle. Research is still ongoing, and hopefully we'll learn more about these captivating relics soon. Number 14. The Ancient Settlements Did you know that the Amazon rainforest wasn't always an untouched wilderness? Recent discoveries have shown that there were once many villages and settlements in the Amazon, even in the remotest areas. In 2018, satellite images revealed 81 lost villages in one of the Amazon's most remote regions. Archaeologists then examined the images more closely using tools like Zoom Earth and Google Earth. This led them to excavate 24 sites in the southern basin of the Amazon. This area was previously thought to be too resource poor for large settlements due to low rainfall and its distance from rivers. However, the archaeologists made some surprising findings. They found stone tools, ceramic fragments, and distinctive dark enriched soil that suggests that there was once intensive farming in the area. It is now believed that up to a million people may have lived in the Amazon rainforest long before the arrival of Europeans. Number 13. Silkenges. In the rainforests of eastern Peru, a fascinating mystery unfolds. Spiders are building strange silk structures, and no one knows for sure which type of spider is responsible. These intricate creations have been dubbed silk henges for their resemblance to Stonehenge in England. These weird creations were first discovered in 2013, and they're so intricate that they've left bug experts scratching their heads. In 2019, tropical entomologist Phil Torres managed to capture some incredible video evidence of these silk structures. He believes the spiders are making them to protect their egg sacs, 
but no one has actually seen these silk hinges being built. What's intriguing is that these silk creations are not isolated incidents. They're found in various parts of the Amazon basin and tend to appear in groups. Whatever their purpose, the silk henges are a fascinating example of animal behavior. They show us that spiders are more intelligent and complex creatures than we often think. Number 12. The Boiling River The Boiling River is a remarkable natural wonder hidden deep in the Amazon rainforest of Peru. It is so hot that it can cook a small animal in seconds. Also, its mud-covered banks would cause third-degree burns in seconds if you stepped on them. But how could a river in this remote region maintain such extreme heat without a nearby volcano? Scientists believe that the answer lies in a fault-led hydrothermal feature. Water from the river seeps deep underground where it is heated by the hot rocks. The hot water then resurfaces through faults and cracks, creating the boiling river. The river is a sacred place for the local people, who believe that its waters have healing powers. They use the river's waters in traditional medicines and ceremonies. The river is also a popular tourist destination. But visitors must be careful to avoid its scalding waters. Number 11. Evidence of Giants Deep in the heart of the Ecuadorian Amazon, there lies a hidden city that is shrouded in mystery. It is known as the Lost City of Giants, and its massive ruins suggest that it was once inhabited by a race of giants. In 2012, a group of researchers set out on an expedition to find the lost city of giants. They had heard stories about the city from local indigenous tribes who say that it was built by giants long before the arrival of regular-sized people. After weeks of searching, the researchers finally stumbled upon the city's ruins. They were amazed by what they found. Massive pyramids, temples, and other structures that were clearly built by giants. The largest pyramid was over 260 feet tall and wide. The researchers also found oversized tools at the site that were too big for regular humans to use. This further supported their theory that the city was built by giants. Unfortunately, the Ecuadorian government has not allowed researchers to continue their investigation of the lost city, so its secrets remain hidden. But one thing is for sure, this discovery is a reminder that there is still much we don't know about our ancient past. Number 10. The Strange-Looking Turtle If you are wading through the jungle waters and out of nowhere, you come face to face with this weird-looking creature. Your first thought might be, what on earth is that? Well, meet the Mata Mata, a turtle that appears as if it underwent a rather odd mutation. Mata Matas are aquatic creatures preferring slow-moving, shallow waters like streams, swamps, and marshes. What truly catches the eye is their appearance. Their shells are not just large, but also covered in a series of bumps and rugged spherical cones. But that's not the end of their uniqueness. These turtles have wide, flattened necks adorned with warts, fringes, and ridges. Matamatas might not win any eyesight contests, but they compensate with a keen sense for detecting movements in their muddy habitats. When it comes to dining, they're carnivores and bottom feeders with a special hunting technique. They practically vacuum up small fish and invertebrates by remaining incredibly still, blending into their muddy surroundings and patiently ambushing their unsuspecting prey. Quite the fascinating predator, isn't it? Number 9. The Giant Earthworm Imagine driving through the lush Amazon rainforest when you spot a giant earthworm crossing the road in front of you. It's four feet long, slimy, and can expand and contract its body by 30%. This is Martiodrylus crassus, one of the largest earthworm species in the world. In 2016, entomologist and science communicator Phil Torres had an unexpected encounter with a Martiodrylus crassus while exploring the jungles of Ecuador. He was cruising through the foothills when the massive worm crossed the road in front of his vehicle. Torres was amazed by the worm's size and agility. He had never seen anything like it before. Martiodrylus crassus is often compared to a boa constrictor in an earthworm suit. It can grow up to five feet long and has a slimy body. Like other earthworms, 
Martiodrillus crassus spends its life underground, feeding on microbes and decaying plant or animal matter. Number 8. A Dead Whale in the Jungle Humpback whales are known for their long migrations, but it came as a surprise when in February 2019, a one-year-old humpback whale was found dead on the shores of an island in the Amazon River. The whale was found further up the river in fresh water and didn't have any visible injuries, so scientists ruled out hunting or illegal whaling. Scientists are still not entirely sure what happened to this whale, but they have a few theories. One theory is that the whale got separated from its mother during an earlier migration and was unable to find its way back. Another theory is that the whale swallowed plastic waste near the shore, which could have contributed to its death. Plastic waste is a major problem in the Amazon River, and it is possible that the whale ingested some of this waste while feeding. Whatever the cause of death, it is clear that this was a very unusual event. Number 7. The Toothpick Fish Diving into the waters of the Amazon jungle reveals a curious creature, the Kandiru. This tiny fish is a part of the catfish family and is quite unique. It's a slender, nearly see-through fish, typically measuring 3 to 5 centimeters in length, though some can grow up to 20 centimeters. In fact, it's one of the smallest vertebrates globally, earning it the nickname Toothpick Fish. What makes the Kandiru so intriguing is its parasitic lifestyle. It often hides at the riverbed, patiently tracking other fish to satisfy its bloodthirsty appetite. In this dimly lit environment, it's believed to locate its prey by following the urea and ammonia released from their gills as they breathe. Once it catches up to its target, this fish has a distinctive approach. It latches onto its victim with a large, expandable, disc-shaped mouth lined with sharp spines. In an instant, it pierces the gill, using an umbrella-like array of spines to anchor itself securely while it feeds on the victim's blood. Number 6. Giant Spider Next on our list is the Goliath Bird Eater, which is the creepiest spider you will ever encounter. This spider is not for the faint of heart, as it's the largest arachnid on Earth, with a weight that can reach up to six ounces and a leg span nearly a foot long. Despite their name, these spiders don't make birds their primary meal, although they're big enough to snack on them occasionally. The Goliath bird eater's diet mainly consists of insects, but they also have a taste for frogs and rodents. When they catch something like a mouse, they use their inch-long fangs, which act like hypodermic needles, to inject neurotoxins into their unfortunate prey. Afterwards, the spider drags its dying meal back to its burrow, where the digestion process begins. Since spiders can't consume solid food, they first turn their prey's insides into liquid and then slurp them up. Number 5. The Human Botfly the human bot fly, also known as Dermatobia hominis, is a strange and unusual insect. It is quite large and covered in dense hair, almost resembling a bumblebee. These flies can be found in the jungle of Central and South America. They do not spread diseases, but they do something quite bizarre. Adult bot flies lay their eggs on other blood-sucking insects, often mosquitoes. When a mosquito bites a person, the heat from the person's body triggers the bot fly egg to hatch. The maggot of the bot fly then goes head first into the unsuspecting human, with just its rear end sticking out. That little rear end is how it breathes through tiny air holes. For about 6 to 12 weeks, this maggot makes itself comfortable and grows to about an inch in length by feeding on the host's flesh. When it's had its fill and grown nice and plump, it finally tunnels out and transforms into an adult botfly. Number 4. The Amazonian Geoglyphs The Amazon is no doubt mysterious, but finding massive earthworks in the middle of the rainforest is not what anyone expected. These geoglyphs, as they are known, stand out as unique archaeological phenomena, taking on various forms and sizes. Some locations boast up to six circular enclosures, which stretch from 100 to 300 meters in diameter, 
and are accompanied by ditches measuring 11 meters in width and 4 meters in depth. The origins of this discovery trace back to the 1980s when the expansive Amazon colonization project brought large-scale deforestation to the region, revealing these peculiar circular shapes hidden beneath the dense forest canopy. The sheer abundance of these geoglyphs is astounding, with more than 450 sites identified within an area of approximately 13,000 square kilometers in the Brazilian state of Acre. And every time a bit of rainforest gets cleared, more geoglyphs show up. So, what were these circles used for? Most likely they were gathering spots for special events like yearly fruiting seasons or significant life moments such as births, weddings, and funerals. Number 3. Ancient Megacity In 1858, French naturalist and explorer Henri Mouho stumbled upon Angkor hidden within the thick Cambodian forest to the northwest. This sprawling city, which we now know was roughly the size of Los Angeles, served as the capital of Cambodia from the 9th to the 15th centuries. What makes Angkor truly remarkable are not only the breathtaking Angkor Wat, and Angkor Thom temples, but also the system of waterways created by its inhabitants. However, by the 16th century, the city had been largely abandoned due to a shift in religious beliefs from Hinduism to Buddhism. This religious transformation played a pivotal role in the city's transformation, leaving it cloaked in the mysterious allure of its ancient ruins and serving as a historical marker of Cambodia's rich past. Number 2. The Creepy Giant Sloth Have you ever heard of the Mapinguari? It's a giant sloth-like creature that is said to live deep in the Amazon rainforest. The Mapinguari is a popular figure in Amazonian folklore. It is believed to be over seven feet tall, has sharp claws, and is said to have an awful smell. Some also say it has one eye and a snarling mouth right in its stomach. While wildlife scientists have their doubts about this creature, there have been many reports of people seeing the Mapinguari over the years. However, there is no concrete scientific evidence to prove its existence. Some experts believe that the Mapinguari is based on ancient local legends about giant sloths. Fossils of a giant sloth called the Megatherium have been discovered in the Amazon, even though this creature went extinct a long time ago. It's possible that stories about the Megatherium have been passed down through generations, and now locals believe it's still lurking in the jungle. Number 1. Ancient Stone Head In the jungles of Guatemala, there is a story of an ancient stone head. This head is said to be different from any other found in the area because it has Caucasian features. This is odd because the people who lived in the area at the time, the head is thought to have been carved, did not have Caucasian features. Some people believe that this head is real and that it is evidence of a lost civilization. Others believe that the head is a fake and that it was created by someone in the 20th century. There is a photograph of the head that was sent to Dr. Oscar Rafael Padilla Lara in 1987. The photograph is said to be from the 1950s, but by the time Dr. Padilla went to see the head, it had been destroyed. Whether the head is real or fake, it is a mystery that has fascinated people for many years. Thanks for watching. While you are here, click the video on the screen to watch more amazing content.